Hey everybody and thank you for joining us here with the Fort Wayne Running Club on Facebook Live. Uh, it's a beautiful afternoon and we appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your time this afternoon to just uh, catch up with us and let us tell you a little bit about what's going on. Fort Wayne Running Club and uh, we have a little little bit of uh, extra uh, information for you here this afternoon and, and we'll talk about that here in just a minute. But My name's Steve Heim, I'm the president of the Fort Wayne Running Club. And I want to introduce my co-host here, Judy Tillapa. Judy's a uh, long-term board member, a former president. She is the current race director of the J.P. Jones 10K and, and Family Fun Walk, and also serves on various committees. So uh, Judy has a wealth of knowledge with respect to the running club, what we're doing, and all the activities that surround it. So Judy very good to have you here this afternoon. Well, I'm excited to be here. Yeah. This is our, our, a chance to share information and uh, we encourage our, our, our uh, listeners, our watchers out there to engage in our, our, our conversations and definitely uh, as desired to uh, send questions through the chat. Yep. Good point, Judy. We will have an uh, s uh, opportunity at the end of the uh, live stream to field any questions or comments you might have, so please send them through for us. But let's go through the topics of today. We we're excited to present to you uh, a series of different uh, topics, uh, beginning with uh, information, uh, current information about the club and, and, and current news about the club. And then we'll move on and have a little trivia challenge about the past. Uh, so definitely to, to prepare yourself for that, to have something to write with and have something to write on so that you can participate in the trivia challenge. We'll then have a, a member spotlight to uh, Robert Lawson, uh, who's been a member for 16 years. He answered some questions <coughs> for us, and so we're, we're, we're going to be excited to, to share some information about Robert. And following that, uh, Steve is going to sh share a recap of our current races for 2021 and, and a, a summary of where we are with our point series. And then we'll have our health segment. Uh, Todd Sullivan is here today. He's a physical therapist with Indiana Physical Therapy, and, and he's with us, so he'll be coming on and joining us and sharing his expertise on, on uh, a little bit. Following um, uh, Todd's presentation, um, we'll have a volunteer spotlight. Sherry Brown uh, is a club member and a wonderful, wonderful volunteer at a, a, a number of events uh, this year as well as previous years. So we we'll look forward to uh, highlighting uh, Sherry with our, mem our volunteer spotlight. And then we'll move on and, and highlight upcoming races and have time for questions and, and then uh, close with some um, summary remarks. Thank you, Judy. So I want to take an opportunity to just talk about 2021 so far. Uh, even though we're about, uh, what, four and a half months into the 2021 uh, year, uh, we've been uh, we've been doing some things, and we're actually off to a really good start this year. We uh, we started the year a little bit disappointed because of COVID and the and the positive cases and the uptick. We were unable to have our uh, annual awards banquet, but we did have an opportunity to uh, convert that annual awards into a Facebook live stream. And many of you might have been with us back in January when we had a session and we were able to uh, do our annual member meeting and use Facebook as a platform to be able to communicate and, and deliver the results of our point series and do those awards. So, uh, Club races so far, we're batting a thousand. We've had a very successful start and had some uh, very good success having in-person safe club races. We had our Fanny Freezer uh, up in Shove Park and it was able to go off and had a great time up there and uh, just uh, about a month or so ago the Nutrion um, uh, starting at the chapel and running into the rugged uh, uh, countryside roads out in Whitley County so uh, I know many of you joined us for that so uh, we're really happy to say that that we're, we're uh, adding a thousand so far with our in-person races for the year. Uh, we have a piece of trail that we've adopted in Southwest on the towpath. There's about two miles of, of trail that we get together and we go out and pick up trash and do some trail cleanup three times a year. And we've had the opportunity to have our first session this year and do that and do some trail cleanup. And I also want to throw in that uh, your Fort Wayne Running Club board is hard at work too behind the scenes and give you a little peek behind the curtain because 
there's some things going on that uh, you wouldn't necessarily know unless we were, we talk about them and bring them to you. But uh, we're able to re-energize our marketing committee. Uh, the marketing committee is something that was so important to the Fort Wayne Running Club uh, years past, and um, with with situations recently and COVID and so forth, it kind of fell off the radar, but uh, we've got the marketing committee back up and running. And in fact, uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit more about who's on the marketing committee later in this in this stream, but it's a, a big reason we're out here today talking to you is uh, the work of this committee. So uh, uh, we've drafted and approved a comprehensive pandemic policy. Uh, if we have a situation where we have uh, uh, any kind of COVID type 19 situations or any other pandemic. We hope we don't, but we now have a script and a roadmap so that we know exactly what to do depending on what the uh, various uh, boards of health uh, recommend that we do. We won't have to, uh, to wonder how we should handle them. The policies in place and was approved at the last board meeting. And lastly, I wanna just mention that uh, one of the things that we started here in 2021 is a two-year plan, kind of a strategic uh, uh, initiative where we, we actually have a parking lot on our board meeting minutes where we uh, think about things that we can do to improve uh, the Fort Wayne Running Club for all of you, for our members, uh, things that we can do. The marketing committee was one of our strategic initiatives but there's other things that we're starting to place on our parking lot that we'll take a look at as we kind of move into the next two year uh, period and start to put tactics in place and plans in place and move those things forward, so. Thank you, Steve. Wow, lots of information, fantastic. We are, we've got a, 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 an active year that has started and it's gonna continue. Um, member benefits, let me just share with you uh, uh, member benefits. Uh, uh, point series competition. All Fort Wayne Running Club members uh, can be a part of our point series competition. Series of races throughout the year. We've already had three. We got another one coming up this this coming Saturday that we'll, we'll highlight towards the end of our, our program today. Um, and, and another huge benefit is uh, anytime a member signs up for a point series race, gets a discount, a couple dollar discount. So you save some money by you know for registering at races as, as a Fort Wayne Running Club member. Uh, another huge benefit to our members is a 10% discount at both the Fleet Feet Running Store and Three Rivers Running Company. So definitely uh, please uh, consider going to one or both of those stores and, and receive that discount um, on shoes, apparel, whatever you might be interested in, in buying at, at either one of those uh, stores. Um, the Another benefit is to uh, uh, our banquet, our annual banquet that we have at the end of January. It's a it's a discount uh, registration discount. So, so, you know, as we kick off registration, hopefully by um, uh, mid to late uh, summer, it's going to only be twenty dollars, and <laughs> so it's a, a a wonderful wonderful way to enjoy a, a great evening and hear a fantastic speaker. Um, and those are our tangible benefits. Other benefits, definitely non-tangible ones, are all the friendships that you develop, the social activities you get to be a part of. So um, lots, lots of good things to be a part of uh, the club. Yeah, no, fantastic, Judy. If you're interested in being a member of the Fort Wayne Running Club, uh, we certainly invite you to, uh, to join. If you want to check your membership status to make sure you're current and up to date, you can lose, use this link that's on the screen right now at runsignup.com slash club slash public members slash 636. Now you don't have to remember that link, okay? Uh, after the uh, Facebook Live session today, I'm gonna make this, this slide deck public and we'll publish a link so you can go back and go through it and take a look at what we're uh, sharing with you here today, including all these links and information. So. Don't worry about having to write these down, but if you want to sign up for a membership with the Fort Wayne Running Club, just follow the links from the website, and our website is www.fortwayneunningclub.org, or you can go to the Fort Wayne Running Club Facebook page and link straight to the website and go straight to uh, the sign up at Run Sign Up, and it's, as Judy mentioned, uh, great tangible benefits and you know I think the intangible benefits are even better it's uh, the opportunity to engage and connect and 
be out there with a running community that, in my opinion, is second to none, uh, Judy, from anything I've seen. So uh, please, please sign up. Please join us. We've got membership rates that are uh, customized for individuals or for families anywhere from one to three year. And uh, you know, I know what a pair of running shoes costs. So if you uh, just you know, take advantage of signing up and get the discount. You're already ahead of the game. So please, please sign up and join us. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, member profile right now of the uh, Fort Wayne Running Club. Right now our total membership is at 386. The women are out uh, numbering the men right now by 53% to 47%. So <laughs> ladies, good job. Keep, keep coming, okay? Yeah. Turn up the pressure. Uh, families are at 85. Our oldest member is 83 years old, and our youngest is two years old. So quite a span there between uh, oldest member to youngest member. And we're represented in 34 cities in three different states. If you look at the little graph at the bottom, it kind of shows you uh, the distribution of those. And then uh, there's a little member profile over to the right where you can kind of see by age group uh, what the membership profile looks like. Wow, thanks for that information, Steve. Absolutely. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Hey, time for our trivia challenge. So have something to write with and have something to write on. We've got five questions that we want you to, to, to answer related to our past. You know, the club was founded in, in, in 1977, and so many awesome, wonderful things have happened uh, through the years. And so we're, we're going to reminisce a little bit and, and go back to uh, uh, a few years and, and, and highlight a couple things. So question number one, 35 years ago, and that would have been uh, 1986, May of 1986, uh, we had a marathon. <laughs> and, and the question would be, where did that marathon start and finish? Was it downtown, right on Main Street, or was it Foster Park, or was it on Parnell by the Coliseum? Okay. I know, I know. Do you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I can't answer. Can no, I? no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold, hold that I'll thought. Hold that thought. Yeah, hold that yep. thought. <laughs> okay. And the second question again. Thirty-five years ago, our president. Uh, who was our president in 1986? Was it Jim Bushy? Was it Bill Harris? Was it Barry Peterson? And and I got to tell you, this club president definitely played an instrumental role in, in the success of that marathon. So anyway, who was our president in 1986? Uh, and 25 years ago, the next question is related to the Nutra Run. You know, in, in 1996, the Nutra Run was held at Woodside Metal School when the school was on a Boyd Center Road. Who was our race director in, in, for the Nutra Run in, in, in 1996? Was it uh, Roger Wilson? Was it Mac McAvoy? Was it Barb Scroggum? All right. so. Who, who, Put your answer down, put your answer down. Okay, number four, question, 10 years ago in 2011, who was our banquet speaker? Bill Rogers, or was it Frank Shorter, or was it Shalane Flanagan? Uh, I just can't tell you enough how tickled I was for for that year and the years uh, before and after. We, we had some absolutely phenomenal, uh, high quality speakers. And But think in particular, 10 years ago, who was our, our speaker at the banquet? And then also 10 years ago, we had the Nutri Run. It was, it was occurring, and uh, who was our first female finisher 10 years ago in the Nutri Run? Was it Denise Conrad? Was it Erin Brady or, or Tammy Behrens? All right, okay, let's, let's, everybody's got their answers down, right? Let's, let's flip the screen. Let's change slides. Okay, <laughs> we've got our answers highlighted, so uh, you have a chance, all of our, our viewers out there, to see how you did, but we'll, we'll go, go through each of these five questions, and. Uh, 35 years ago, the marathon started right on Parnell by the Coliseum. It was an absolutely beautiful course. It, it showcased the, the city well. started on Parnell by the Coliseum, went all the way downtown, all the way south to Foster Park and back. So, you know, I did it a couple times myself. It was just a fantastic, fantastic course. And, I, and, the, and then the second question, our, our president at that time was Jim Bushy. Uh, my, Definitely hats off to Jim Bushy. He was a very, very active president and contributed so much to the success of that marathon. And Jim, to this day, is still active with the club. It, 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 he's associated with our Runners on Parade, at number one, as well as he's still a runner. So thank you, Jim, for your past involvement with the club and, and your cur current involvement with the club. Thank you. 
Uh, the third question there, who was our race director 25 years ago for the Nutri Run? Well, Mac McAvoy himself. He wore a lot of hats when he was involved with the club, and, and one of them was directing the, the Nutri Run. He also, um, he, he's, a, he's a person that was um, past, past president of the club and also past race director for Runners on Parade. So um, the fourth question there, who was our speaker 10 years ago for the annual banquet? Frank Shorter himself, absolutely. What a phenomenal evening it was for him to, to, to be our, our guest speaker. And Bill Rogers was the speaker of the year before that, and Shalane Flanagan was the, the, the speaker of the year after that. Ten years ago, Denise Conran was our, our winner for the Nutra Run, and, and uh, to this, just this past Nutra Run, she did well too. So yeah, thanks, there we have it. Mo member spotlight uh, we, as we were talking about our Facebook live we definitely wanted to include a member spotlight and we, we, we selected Robert Lawson and so we sent Robert these questions he was uh, uh, so so nice to, to answer all these questions and so here we have uh, a little um, uh, outline of, of, of Robert and his thoughts about running in his life so you know Robert is a, a senior manager of finance that's his occupation he's he joined the club in 2005 he's been a club member for for 16 years thank you Robert and you know it's awesome. we have some yeah, yeah. that's awesome <laughs> you know he enjoys running solo um, and and his most memorable running experience came was when he was at the Parlor City Trot uh, half marathon in Bluffton um, and uh, we asked him about what running meets, means to him, and he just said that feeling of accomplishment, and it helps him stay in shape. So, wow, fantastic. Uh, running does so many things for us, so many benefits, and for, for Robert, that's, that's, uh, that's near and dear to him. His favorite race, what's Robert's favorite race? Well, he identified the, the uh, run for Riley, mainly because it benefits kids. So thank you, Robert, for that, that, that uh information and Thank his you. favorite distance to run is that four to five miles um, favorite place to train the puffer belly trail his favorite post run food i love this answer anything that's around 200 calories and <laughs> <laughs> that leaves a lot of variety you know <laughs> so <laughs> i appreciate that answer uh, <laughs> do you have a favorite ca uh, food there steve <laughs> you know, yeah it's like anything i can actually find and get to my mouth <laughs> oh, there you go <laughs> There you go. Love it. That's a great answer, too. <laughs> okay. Um, some other things about Robert. His favorite movie or TV program, he put Rudy down as a favorite movie. And favorite TV program is uh, anything on the History Channel. Anything on the History Channel. So, um, that, fantastic. Uh, his favorite uh, music that he likes to listen to, uh, Gloria and Staying Alive. Those are two great songs. And... Um, uh, Another question here that we asked him was, what has been an inspiration to your running or walking and just that setting of goals and accomplishing goals? And, and as 16, the, the, this, that question 16, any future goals that he has, he is definitely uh, focused and in, in geared up to accomplish the Iron Runner for uh, 2021. So hats off to Robert. Fantastic. We are here to support you and, and be for you as, as much as we possibly can. That's a, that's a fantastic uh, goal for the year. Robert, you are an inspiration and, and uh, it's uh, fantastic to have you as our member spotlight this afternoon. I'm going to touch very briefly on some recent race recaps. I told you earlier that uh, we're betting a thousand so far this year for safe in-person races. We uh, had the Fanny Freezer at Shove Park back in February the 20th. 230 runners joined us there, and we had a great day. Beautiful weather and a lot of fun, and we've got a little a, uh, a statement here from our race director, Kathy Berghoff. Uh, said, the Fanny Freezer is one of the first road races of each calendar year for the Fort Wayne Running Club, and an opportunity to meet old friends and make new ones in the running community, and that's speaking largely to those intangible benefits, Judy, that you spoke about earlier. Uh, joining a running community that, in my opinion, is second to none. And then in March on the 27th, we had our uh, annual Nutra Run, which is a, a favorite, I know, of the uh, Fort Wayne Running Club members. 145 runners joined us at the chapel, and we went out into the countryside of Whit at Whitley County and uh, did a 20K, so in a five-mile loop. And we have a comment here from the race director, Doug Morris, of the Nutri Run. Doug said, the Nutri Run is a mixed bag of sometimes extreme weather conditions. 
Sometimes, right? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> However, in 2021, runners had big smiles crossing the finish. I thought it was the optimum weather. Many runners told me it was their first distance race in some time. I'm glad we could offer this event to our members and to our community. Was, uh, I was at both of these events and they were both just totally fantastic. So I'm going to touch very, very briefly on our, our Iron Runner and Points update. I'm not going to read all these names, but our uh, Points Series Coordinator Mike Clendenin has been hard at work tallying points and uh, checking to see where everybody is so far in the points race and the Iron, Iron Runner uh, eligibility status. And as you can see right now, we have 14 people that are uh, currently eligible for Iron Runner. Now, Iron Runner is, is uh, runners who have completed every points race, whether they be club series or friendship series races. So uh, 14 eligible there. We have 33 so far that are eligible for the club series. That would be the, you know, the, the runners who have completed all the Fort Wayne Running Club races. And then 22 runners so far that are eligible for the friendship series. So those are points series races that are uh, uh, that were chosen to be uh, in our friendship series of events. And then I'm going to touch um, just as briefly on the current points status. These are the top three, so I'm not going to read the names again, but I'll leave it here for just uh, 30 seconds or so so you can look for your name. One thing I want to point out, we need some females in that age group from 20 to 24. There's nobody in there, so the field is wide open. So come join us and uh, get some points, you're going to be right in there. And as you can see over on the male side, uh, males from 20 to 24 and males from 20 to 25 to 29. There's uh, only one so far in each of those two categories. So uh, if you're in those age groups, uh, please come and join us. There's, there's lots of room to jump in and be very competitive in the points series for the rest of the year. So you want to see the full points uh, status so far, go to the Fort Wayne Running Club website and Mike has everything posted on there and up to date. Thank you, Steve. Now let's uh, move to health and fitness news and want to mention first that May is National Bike Month and it's a, you know, it's a chance to highlight that biking is such a great fitness activity as well as a friendship activity. So, you know, as you think about May, you know, relate it to the being Bike Month and, and also um, as you think about uh, Bike Month, um, um, we have got several bike events that uh, might uh, interest you to participate in. And we've got uh, uh, four of them listed there. Trek the Trails is on Tuesday evenings, uh, May 18th and 25th. And then May 19th is a, a virtual uh, bike of silence to, to help us uh, pause and remember uh, on, uh, anyone that unfortunately might have been injured or anyone unfortunately that might have passed through, through biking, a biking accident. So that, that might be something that you'd like to, to, to do and just a chance to remember somebody that, that uh, might have been lost or might have been injured. And, and then Bike to Work Day is coming up this coming Friday, May 21st. So hey, instead of, <laughs> instead of driving your gas-filled car to get to work, how about this Friday that you, you know, uh, bike to work? <laughs> you know, it might be a nice, nice thing to do for a change. And the, the, the following, um, and the, the last event there listed there is the For for, for, for Fitness Spring Cycle. It's going to be Saturday, June 5th. And oh my gosh, that, that event has something for everybody, all the way from, from a 10-mile bike to a 62-mile bike, so it's that's a huge event with um, very, very well run and very organized. So, for more information about these bike events and other bike events, go to uh, that Kickstart 2021 webpage. Uh, they've got it all listed there for you. And but now, someone that I know loves to bike <laughs> is right next to me, Todd Sullivan. So. He is our special guest. Uh, Todd is a senior therapist with Indiana Physical Therapy, and he's he is a running enthusiast and a very accomplished ultra runner. He's he's recognized by the running community at large for his expertise in, in treating injuries and preventing injuries. So wow, <laughs> he has helped several of my friends. So uh, definitely very grateful for your your knowledge and skills. So you, and you've helped me. <laughs> I remember a couple of years ago. <laughs> You helped me, so um, you know. And, and I also want to highlight that uh, this this past uh, January at our, our um, banquet Facebook Live event, we honored uh, Todd with our 2020 uh, Bobby Barbie Scribe Spirit of Running Award. 
um, you know, just because of his enthusiasm and contributions to, to, to our, our running community. So welcome, Todd. Uh, I'm glad you're here with us, and uh, feel free to share some information. Yeah, thanks for having me. So I'm glad to join in. So I just want to talk a little bit today with this weather turning out uh, beautiful and amazing like it is for us right now. I think it's really tempting to start building up our running mileage maybe a little quicker than we should. So I just encourage everybody to remember the 10% rule. So the research has really shown that if we kind of limit our running progression by more than 10% uh, increase in miles per week, we're at a reduced risk for injury. But just like Judy was talking about with all the cycling events going on right now, we can still get out and do stuff and increase our cardiovascular fitness by getting out and doing other activities. So just think about some cross training ideas. We've got all the great cycling events coming up, but um, it could also be swimming or using cardio equipment. Um, but there's lots of other options besides that too. So thinking about outside the box, we can get out and go kayaking, go hiking, go uh, stand up paddle boarding. Um, so there's lots of different options out there. So just think outside the box and go do some, some other activities that can help you to build some of your aerobic and cardiovascular fitness, but still give you a chance to rest and recover some of those tissues that we've overstressed with running. Remember with running, we're putting about two and a half times our body weight on our leg each time it hits the ground, which is around 160 to 100, 180 times um, per mile. So that's a lot of impact. So just taking a little break from that to throw in a different activity can really help not only reduce our risk for injury, but also um, actually strengthen some things that we need to become better runners. Also, if you're injured, you might consider cross training. Um, and if you are cross training and injured, if you can still manage to keep some running in every two to three days, you'll be able to maintain your running economy while you still are helping to improve your cardiorespiratory fitness. So just keep that in mind. Um, another thing that cross training can do is start to isolate some different areas. So like uh, if I wanted to develop my quadriceps, I can get out and do some cycling, really hits that area hard. Or I can work on core activation by getting up on the stand up paddle board um, or upper body strength with some kayaking. So throw in some new different activities. It'll help to strengthen some areas we need for running and also give you a break so you can recover. Um, a big thing that I see in runners is some weak glutes. And uh, Judy and I were talking a little bit before about rollerblading and glutes. So, um, but strengthening those glutes, rollerblading is a great activity. But remember with any of these new activities, they are new and they're a different challenge on your body. So you want to progress them slowly. Just like with running, we don't want to make big changes quickly. If you're incorporating a new activity, just kind of slowly bring it into your program. Don't go out and go do two hours of rollerblading, right? <laughs> so, um, and then also remember that rest is when we rebuild. So when we're doing activities, we're kind of tearing apart uh, tissues of the body and that's creating this overload. And then the body realizes it needs to be stronger. So when we rest, that's when the body actually rebuilds. So plan recovery into every day, plan recovery into your weeks and that's gonna also help you develop and come up, become a better athlete. The other big thing I wanted to mention is that when I talk to runners about cross training, I often, uh, they'll see other cross training avenues as being a punishment, like um, I can't run right now because I'm injured and so now I have to go jump on the bike. But I'd really encourage you to think about other activities as being a celebration of your running fitness. Running has helped to develop this fitness in you that you can go out and try all kinds of different activities and explore. So. Use that fitness to go out and jump on a stand-up paddleboard and do something new or go hiking on some trails. So find some new adventures, explore a little bit, and you might find that you reduce your injury risk, but you also just have a whole lot of fun along the way. Thank you, Todd. Wow. <laughs> Can we touch on strength training a little bit? Strength training is cross training, correct? Yeah, Maybe. so I think sometimes so people... A things? Yeah. yeah, I think sometimes people think just about aerobic fitness, um, but other activities that involve strength, even like things that are a little bit anaerobic, like tennis and other sports can be great cross training, but just strength training in general uh, can be good and really is what we see is especially as we mature along as we become older athletes that actually strength training becomes more and more important to running performance not just injury prevention so really incorporating that into your regular workout plan can make you a better runner not uh, you know not just be a cross training avenue but it's actually going to reduce injury risk and make us better so things like squats and clamshells and monster walks to build up the glutes and just good core work and planks things like that can really help you to develop your 
running abilities, not just prevent injury. So what? Sounds like you don't have to buy any weight training equipment. Really. No, you, you really don't need. Own. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of body weight stuff is fine. There's things you can do at home. You don't need to go get fancy equipment. Sometimes some resistance bands or, uh, you know, maybe just a dumbbell or something, and, you, and the, the world is open. You can do all kinds of stuff at home. Wow. Wow. Okay. Anything else that might be important for us to know related to, to cross training? Anything else that maybe we shouldn't do? Uh, yeah, as, as I, think, I think the big <laughs> thing is like we were talking about just timing wise. So, you know, if you've got a big race coming up on Saturday, don't try something new Thursday or Friday and then all of a sudden you can't move. So, and then, and then just moderation. So don't build up too quick. Take your time in any new activity. Start off small and kind of build into it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, Todd is going to be around. We'll have questions at the end. So, you know, please uh, feel free if you have any questions for Todd to put him in our chat. Uh, and then we'll, we'll address some questions at the end. So thank you so much, Todd. Yeah, wow. Fantastic. <laughs> Great information. Thank you. Yeah. We're here with Sherry Brown, the Fort Wayne Running Club's volunteer spot this afternoon. Hi, Sherry. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Uh, doing good. Thank you for being here with us this afternoon. It's our first Sherry's time. from Columbia City. And Sherry, tell us how you joined the Fort Wayne Running Club and how many years have you been a member? Um, I joined the Running Club in 2012. So it's been almost 10 years. It's been almost a whole decade for me. So nine years. So. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, you do some volunteering from time to time. How have you volunteered? I do. Um, well, I've done a lot of packet pickups. So I've done that in the past. Um, recently, I did the um, adopt a greenway, the cleanup, or pick up the trash off the um, off the greenway. That, that was fun. Um, I helped design the board that you guys put up with the... Um, at the club races, the four way running club uh, play board. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Chef, where do you volunteer? I volunteer to um, get to know the people that are in the club. I feel like by volunteering, packet pickups, stuff like that, you get to know who all the people are. You get to know the people who are volunteering with you. Um, so I feel like that is like a really good advantage. Also, I like, um, to give back to the club because I feel like I've had like a lot of really good race experiences over the past 10 years. So it's a good way to give back. Oh, that's fantastic. And I certainly agree with you that, uh, you know, the club is connection and getting out there and getting to meet some new people and, uh, no, no. Great way to, uh, to engage and make new friends. So, oh, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, one thing I know about you, Sherry, I'm one of your Strava connections, so I know you're an avid runner because I see them on Strava. So, congratulations on that. Uh, this Thanks. Point, yeah, one last question for you this afternoon. What is running in you? Um, running to me is like cheap therapy. <laughs> like I totally, um, it's like an outlet for me, um, just to get out and get outside, you know, um, I try not to, um, compare like my times with other people cause I am kind of a slower runner. <laughs> I'm never going to be fast, but, um, I feel like just getting outside every single day, um, you know, enjoying the scenery, um, just to be out. Um, I'm a big believer in the run walk method. So it doesn't have to be, you know, always the race outside, just get out and enjoy yourself, enjoy your time outside. And that tends to get me outside almost every day. So hopefully it still keeps me going. So, you know, many more years. So. Well, that's fantastic, and it's a beautiful time of the year to be out there and going out, Sherry. So, yes, it is. This is my favorite time of year. I love this time of year. You can just smell like all the flowers and stuff out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I want to wrap up by thanking you, Sherry, for your time, uh, congratulating you on being a Lane Running Club volunteer spotlight this afternoon. Uh, on behalf of the board of the Lane Running Club, I want to thank you for volunteering.
and say that the Fort Wayne Running Club is a volunteer organization. People like you that make it work. So uh, we appreciate that. Thank you very much. And keep up all the great running. I'm going to be watching you on the start. <laughs> I'll be watching you too, Steve. Thank you. Sherry, if you're watching again, thank you so much for uh, uh, taking your time out for that interview. And, uh, and I apologize for the uh, poor Zoom connection. I'm sure that that was uh, something. I'm a, I'm a rookie at Zoom, so <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm, sure that, I'm sure that that was something I did wrong. But I'm learning, and I'm going to get better. But uh, Sherry, you're an inspiration. And uh, as I stated in the, in the interview, it is uh, volunteers that make this running club work. So uh, thank you so much for, for doing what you do. And much like Robert, Sherry uh, answered some questions. I'm just going to skip right ahead to number seven because I think she uh, answered all the rest herself already. But uh, uh, what is the what is Sherry's favorite race? Uh, I love any race, but if I had to pick a favorite, it's probably Fort for Fitness. Such a great feeling of community and cheering you on. Favorite distance? She likes 10Ks because she feels like it's a step up from the 5K, but still short enough to burn some rubber. She says, so "Good, good job on that, Sherry." Uh, half marathons are also fun because you can kind of ease your pace up a bit and enjoy the surroundings. And what's your favorite place to train? She can be found on the Blue River Trail or in Morshays Park in Columbia City. She also loves the Jorgensen YMCA path in the surrounding area. Sherry's favorite post-run food? Chicken sandwiches, even spicy ones. <laughs> uh, she says she's the connoisseur of the chicken sammies everywhere. And... I don't think Sherry's alone on this one. She likes peanut butter on a spoon. <laughs> uh, favorite hobbies, gardening, reading, painting, and playing with her son. What is the favorite movie or TV program? She says she really doesn't watch much TV, but she loves all the Pixar movies. What's your favorite music or song? Christian pop and contemporary music. Inspiring, makes her happy, and she says she's going to see Zach Williams and Toby Mac in concert in the next few months. What has been an inspiration to your running and walking? And she said, seeing my running friends accomplished awesome things and achieve their goals is, is inspiring to me. Any future running dream or goal? I am attempting to run the Indiana Trail 50 mile race this fall. Would love to finish. I uh, have a feeling, Sherry, that you will. So uh, uh, great, uh, great, great uh, candidate for Fort Wayne Running Clubs, Clubs Volunteer Spotlight this afternoon. and. Thank you for your time and for volunteering. Yes, thank you, Sherry. We really, really appreciate all your, your time that you've given to the club as a volunteer. And <laughs> hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll just uh, look forward to seeing you more, uh, at, at, at future events, too. So, well, next, let's move to our upcoming race calendar. We've got some fabulous uh, walk runs coming up uh, that we're highlighting some here from from May uh, through the end of July. Uh, coming up next Saturday, May 22nd, is the A.J. Arnett Honor Run 5K. It's going to start and stop there at Concordia High School. And I, I understand, I believe, that it benefits the Honor Flight, right? Yeah, so it's a really neat uh, fundraiser, very special, important fundraiser for Honor Flight. So but please uh, consider going to to that 5k next Saturday and then you know an event near and dear to me <laughs> is coming up on that uh, Sunday June 2nd or excuse me Sunday June 6th the the JP Jones just playing 10k and 3.3k I brought my rep gift with me here so I want to remind and encourage everybody that not only um, is there a, a uh, 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 a cost to, to registering for the event, uh, bring a wrapped top or two, and as we, we collect all the tops uh, after the race, we'll be taking these tops to some locations around the, 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 the city to benefit some individuals and families. We'll take the tops to sites like Rescue Mission and Cures House and Salvation Army. So, you know, so definitely um, join us uh, June 6th for the J.P. Jones Just Plain 10K 3.3K at, at Foster Park. 
June 26 is in Angola, the excuse me, in Angola, the Monument City Classic 10K. And then July 10th, our biggest event of the year, got to definitely come out to that. Please definitely consider coming out to our, our 26th annual Runners on Parade 5K. It's presented by Fort Wayne Orthopedics. So, you know, Aaron Brady, race director, is definitely uh, um, working hard right now on the details. And, and so we're real uh, going to plan forward to, to make it a, a great time for everybody. Um, July 24th is the Run for the Warrior. Uh, where is the Run for Warrior 10K? Where's that being held? Do you know? Uh, to... <coughs> it is up north. Okay. Okay. Well, fantastic. Well, anyway, they definitely can, uh, these events all have something special for everybody, so consider registering and joining us at, uh, at, at these upcoming uh, races. Time for questions. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, as we as we finish our, our time together, we wanted to see if uh, any of our viewers uh, had any questions that they might have or any comments that we'd like to, to share. Um, no questions? Okay. Okay. Well, know that we always are a, 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 a club for runners, a club for walkers. Uh, we want to... Um, um, you know, um, offer what's going to be best for for as many people as possible. Um, yeah. For uh, as we finish up our time together this afternoon, um, uh, we've got some important thanks to share. Uh, number one is our um, our marketing committee, headed by our Adam Dyer, board member Adam Dyer. So thank you, thank you, Adam. And uh, those of, as a part of the committee are myself and Christy Grip and Danny Sullivan, Tina Christie and Matt Harold. Um, we want to again give all of our thanks to Todd Sullivan, our special guest today, who shared some fantastic information for you know, injury prevention and, 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 and cross training. Um, we want to thank our host today. We are here <laughs> at Danny and Todd Sullivan's home and we extremely appreciate uh, them allowing us to be here and, and to have this Facebook uh, live event to, to share information. So thank you, Danny and Todd. Uh, I really, really uh, appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here this afternoon to have this program. and. Thank you, Robert Lawson, for uh, allowing, um, um, for sharing your your story as, as being a member of our, our Fort Wayne Running Club. And thank you, Sh Sherry Brown, for um, sharing your information so that we can spotlight you as a, as a club volunteer. And uh, thank our volunteers volunteers for our, our in, uh, Facebook live stream. Adam Dyer is here <laughs> being our, 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 our tech person. Uh, Lori Heim is here to help to, to uh, monitor any comments or questions. And of course, thank you, Steve, for, for being a, a fantastic uh, a person as a part of our time here today to um, offer the live event. And you as well, Judy. Thank you for uh, co-hosting here with me today. Yeah, it's been fun. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Yes. So as we wrap up, uh, we will have this whole. Uh, is it is it done? Okay. I didn't know how you wanted to say. Oh yeah. Okay. 